Columbia police responded to an unusual but rather awkward incident on the Skookool River. Oh, okay. I have trouble pronouncing that one. A vehicle parked on Kelly Drive made its way into the river uh, near the uh, near the Columbia Bridge around 4.45 a.m. Police say a man and a woman were in the back seat. How you say getting to know each other more intimately? Oh, okay. When the uh, woman accidentally disengaged the gear, causing the vehicle to roll right on into the river. Oh, no. Luckily, both the man and the woman were able to escape safely with no injuries. Mom, Dad, when did you guys decide to have me? Oh, no. What's my story? Big wheels keep on rolling. Well, honey, Proud it's a funny story. 59-year-old Dr. Giovanni Baula sold his medical practice in 2022 to a fellow doctor. In recent months, the good doctor reportedly became upset over the business with the purchaser. Dr. Dylan Dinesh, who runs affiliated health clinics at Ballo's former office in St. Petersburg. Court records do not reveal the nature of their business dispute. Investigators allege that Ballo went to Dinesh's office and soaked the front doors in gallons of fluid, which had the odor of urine. Ew! Two weeks later, Dr. Ballo allegedly returned to the property and again unleashed another cascade of the rank-smelling liquid. On both occasions, cops say Bala and his vehicle were recorded by surveillance cameras. The urine-smelling liquid soaked into the wooden front doors, causing irreparable damage. Reports say the medical practice suffered six grand and other losses related to the urine attacks. Wow. Yeah, doctor, uh, doctor is now public enemy number one. Uh-huh. You're in trouble. You're in big trouble now, buddy. <laughs> big trouble. Those are your knuckleheads. <laughs> you can find those stories wherever you follow us. Mel and Scott in the morning.